Coming up, I fly an aeroplane again, turn it upside down, and have a go at landing. Welcome back to Alba Skies, and it really has been a fantastic few days for me again. From sitting in my room drawing pictures of aircraft on notebooks, uh, I'm now a current pilot again on this beautiful aircraft we just put to bed, the Bulldog. Okay, start to engage. Current brakes. Brakes are holding. Easing it, 
Easing it. And increasing, going back now. There we are. Lovely, so we gained about 500 feet at the top of the loop there. Okay, there's 120 knots. And up. Roll. That was dropped quite a lot there. And we'll do a wing over to the right. There was one four five. Cool. There we go, easing it off over the top. And beginning to pull now. There's 4G. There we are. Okay, there's 120 knots. And up we go. And we'll pick up 120 knots. Clip the very western edge of yours though. Good horizon. Right and up we, up we go. And we'll just get a little bit, just a little nice margin there, there's one, two, five. Okay, there's the end of the article. <laughs> I love it! Okay, that was a nice one. Climb up a little bit with a little bit of excess speed. There's one four five. All right, there's about the forty five there, and then roll, and then pull. Okay, I want to do a stall turn, I've been enjoying this. So I'll just get a little bit more height, this will be my last maneuver actually. Alright, come level there. We've got 130, which is good. Looking out to the left, and off we go. Okay, I'm done. Nice one. Cool Papa Lima, manoeuvres uh, overhead. Uh, Colleen Castle are complete. We're going to route down the coast south a little bit before heading back. Lovely, so we've built up to 4.5G there. And our... Uh, the biggest negative G was uh, just about negative uh, 0.2. Yeah, so the Gulf of Lima is uh, one mile south of Mabel, 2,000 feet, the first instructions for rejoining. Gulf of Alpha Lima, Roger, is hit to re-enter control airspace via Don Rimble, via far and out of the launch, 2,000 feet, runway 30. Good to rejoin, control airspace via Don Rimble, not of the launch, 2,000 feet, Gulf of Alpha Lima. Gulf of Alpha Lima, Roger, is hit to re-enter control airspace via Don Rimble, not of the launch, 2,000 feet, Gulf of Alpha Lima. There's the Rimble there, it's got a fantastic viaduct there. Fantastic.
I'm not sure if uh, the I can't possibly remember we are visual that previously called traffic. Anyway, getting from a few days ago to where we are now, uh, I had to do a check flight with an instructor, uh, which involved doing some stalls and then going to the circuit for a bit. Normally, maybe six, seven months ago, being in the circuit would be boring for me, but uh, the other day it was quite a workout. You're almost at sort of capacity. And I'm really, really glad I did a lot of, I did some chair flying, which is where you pretend, you close your eyes, sit in a chair, and pretend you're in the aircraft and do everything that you would do, no think it through. And then I did some simulator flying as well. And so that made sure that my checks were really dialed in. But the thing that you don't get with the simulator or chair flying is the actual feel of the aircraft and how it responds to control inputs. Flight simulator's not all there yet with the, um, the flight dynamics, but maybe FS2020 will be. But um, yeah, so I was at capacity for that. My landings, my initial approaches, too much energy, too fast, speed control was all over the place. But um, as we did some more, it got dialed in and we even practiced some glide approaches as well, which was good. So after that, I went solo, did a couple of circuits by myself and I got to a point where I was quite comfortable with landings again. I mean, I'm not as good as I was before, not that I was amazing, but um, I'm, I'm quite comfortable where it is. Speed below 125 knots, yep, yeah. flaps travel enter. Fuel is good, pumped on. Canopy is good, harness is good, fires is down. And parking brake is off, landing lights on. Let's go half Lima, left base 3 0. Half Lima, thank you, report final number 1. Okay, well, number 1, go half Lima. after getting it back in this plane after six months is my approaches. Uh, speed control, having too much energy and being a bit too high. But we'll try and work on that. So there we go, we're just at 75 just now. Okay, so we will have a bit of crosswind component from the left. Okay, nothing else on approach. And um, we'll turn final very shortly. Let's get the speed back. Oh, a little high just now. And we'll turn in now because of the wind. There we go, 75. Keep bringing the speed back. We want to be at 65. Go for Alpha Lima final. Alpha Lima, Roger, and runway 30, you are clear land. 7.28 degrees, 1.0 knot. Clear, Post clear, and below 110 knots, flaps travel full. Golf Lima Yankee reports that are being perfect. Go for Golf Lima Yankee. Bit fast. Speed's coming under control now. Bit of trim. A little high, but it's quite a steep descent in this with full flap. So you can see we've got one red already now. Feel ourselves crabbing into the wind slightly. There's 65 there, that's nice. And we're on glide slope. Not for long though, we will go through it. Bit fast there. Looking down the runway, closing the throttle. There we go, hold the nose wheel off. A little harder than I'd liked, but uh, not too messy. Not too messy at all. Sweet. Well, Papa Lima, we get left in November and taxi up in Papa. Left in November and taxi Papa, thanks for your help. You're welcome. Good afternoon. Next couple of months, um, we've still got some summer left in Scotland. You can expect as much as I can afford flying the Bulldog, maybe some landaways. Uh, 
if I deem that it's acceptable risk I'm putting other people in when I land in another place. If I do that, I'll probably camp uh, and, and bring a packed lunch and all of that, keep away from people. Look out for some more cool stuff coming to Alba Skies soon and I hope you enjoyed this video. See you later.